He's done well. And I'm looking at this young man, Tom Farrell. I think this is going to be a good athlete in the future. He's seen them come down for the 10,000 and win medals. I'm sure he wants to be part of that action. Bob Tari struggled the other night. He was, we thought he might give Mo a bit of a race. But I don't think we're looking at 100% Mo Farah today. The great champion that he is. There's Farrell. He'll, he'll get better in the future. No doubt about that. But now the men's 5,000 meters underway. 12 and a half laps off the track as usual. And will it be a case of more wins as usual? One or two others we haven't mentioned in here. Kaya, the man from uh, Turkey, who again with Andy Vernon gave Mo Farah a bit of a scare on the last lap. And Kaya had to succumb to Andy Vernon just in the last two or three strides. The young Turkish athlete, former Kenyan. And let's also say happy birthday to Brenton Rowe. You can see they're wearing the yellow spikes and the white vest of Austria. It's his 27th birthday today. Well, that's very nice of you, Steve. Wishing people a happy birthday during the race. That's good. Jesus Espana leads. The three Spaniards in this race today, you know, and you just wonder, they watched the 10,000 like we did. They watched Mo Farah like we did. They saw that Mo was good and strong and win the race, but I think they sensed that he's not at his very best. He shouldn't be, couldn't be at his very best. He's only run two races this season, and he's had that illness to contend with. And you would have thought that maybe someone might think about stretching him and testing him. That's what you would, true distance runners would try to do, because they know he's lethal at the last 400 metres. And I think Mo needs to be, he's closer to the action today. He ran at the back for a long time in the 10,000 metres. He tends to run at the back early on to get rid of tension and nerves. And here he is today, a little bit closer, a little bit closer to the front. Moving gently towards the lead, just letting them know he's there. He's the boss and they're going to let him dictate. You wouldn't want to, but he does it. He mesmerises them. So Farah, comfortable. Final developing, Maria Kuchina. The Russian looking to extend her, well, potential dominance in this event with the uh, Chicharova not being here, the uh, world champion from 2011. And it's they spent some time out in Eton where Mo Farah and the other guys, Tom Farrell was out there this year do their altitude training, so Arne Gabius has been on a few runs with Mo Farah in the past, and he's doing exactly that here, because this isn't much more than a training run, Brent, at the moment. The pace is slow. Very slow, very pedestrian. Slow laps for four laps for Mo Farah. It's going his way, they're helping him. A physical test and a fast run is not what Mo would be looking for today. He wants this victory, though. He desperately wants this victory. But Andy Vernon in the group there. He fancies his chances now. He's really thinking about Mo Farah, which is a real step up in confidence for him. And Tom Farrell, Great Britain, in the men's 5,000 metres. Mo was stung into action, but it didn't last very long. No, I don't think he's got any intention of going hard from this far out. I think he'll try and stick to his normal tactics. At the last couple of laps, he'll move to the front. He'll try and control it. He'll get in the position he's in now. And they'll allow him to do that because he's Mo Farah. But Kaya in the 10,000 metres did take it on briefly. Ibrahimov on the outside loves to be at the front. He doesn't really like being in the pack, and he's already had one little look at the front, and here he comes again. But it's not really pushing the pace on. He doesn't really do anything. He just prefers to be running freely. Kaya just following him through. Tom Farrell just uh, running into a bit of a bunch behind there. Andy Vernon, they're just watching things because there's nothing really started here yet. Mo Farah hasn't been too far away from the front all the way around. Andy Vernon being tracked by... Bob Tari, 5,000 championship final. That's exactly right. No personal best in it for this race today, though. As Tom Farrell runs on the inside of Andy Vernon, a uh, renewed Andy Vernon, silver medalist in the 10,000 metres, an athlete who really enjoyed that race the other night and ran extremely well. Had a long way to go on the yeah, last lap. And as he did, Andy Vernon moved through, and because Andy's come round the outside, Mo Farah just 
glides to the front past Ibrahimov, but again, they're just almost jogging, really, as Bren was saying. This sort gold of medals in the European 2011, he won a gold medal in the World Championships, and then we all remember him winning two fabulous gold medals in London in the 10,000 and 5,000 meters. Then he came back last year, world champion at five and 10,000 meters, and you can see what he's doing. They're all making little efforts, they're all trying to get ahead. There's one kilometer remaining, and Mo doesn't want anybody past him. Espana wants to get past him. Andy Vernon's oh, tried oh, to get oh. past him, but he won't let anybody past him. He, and he's got to be a little bit careful. He's got to pick it up a little because he might get caught and tripped from behind. And he doesn't want that. He doesn't want anybody past him. From now, he comes down, he sees two laps to go, and you can bet your bottom dollar that he doesn't want anybody at any point between now and the finish line to get ahead of him. Well, they're queuing up on his shoulder. I don't know why anyone doesn't really attack. This is Andy Vernon just trying to protect his position. He knows that Mo likes to run it hard from the last two laps, and he knows that the closer he is to Mo Farah, the more chance he's got of a medal, and maybe even giving Mo something to think about. So now they're stretching out. The two Germans there, Ringer on the inside, then Gabius, and there goes Ibrahimov on the outside. Ringer tries to cover it. Mo Farah kicks first to cover the move, but Ibrahimov might just cut across him here, and he does that. Mo doesn't normally let that happen. He normally holds them up in the last 600 meters. So Andy Vernon right there, then Ringer, then Gavius, then Kaya, and then Tom Farrell a little further back, and also coming hard on the outside there, Abadia of Spain. So Brendan, 500 to go, Farah back where he wants to be, trying to get back to the front, Ibrahimov trying to hold him off. Ibrahimov trying to hold up Mo Farah. Andy Vernon coming on the outside, and Mo now hears a bell, and he goes for it. We've seen him do this on many occasions. We've seen him win big, big championships in this manner, but he's waited. They've taken it easy. They've almost jogged to the lap, lap scorer, and now Mo Farah is attacking down the back straight. He's got a little bit of company. He's got still got a lot of running to do. Can he do that from now? He's got to stretch again at the 200-meter point and then kick round the bend. He's never been out kicked by Ibrahimov. He's beaten him on the track so many times. He's beaten him indoors and outdoors. And Mo Farah just checks. And Ibrahimov with a little look behind because he knows there's nothing he's going to be able to do about this. Farah gritting his teeth, still looking behind. Ibrahimov has run a great race for silver. And Andy Vernon running into a bronze medal position. But no doubt about the winner. Mo Farah streaking away as expected to take his second gold medal of the European Championships. Ibrahimov, the silver, and a great bronze for Andy Vernon. Farrar and Vernon bringing the medals home again. 52.3 last lap. It was slow, 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 quick and quicker. Farrar extended them from 400 out, and nobody, not in this field, can live with the sort of pace that he has in a slow run race like that. He just has too much to burn, he's got too much speed, too much pace. Well done to Andy Vernon, another medal for him. What a championship Andy Vernon has had, a silver and a bronze, but it's double gold again for Mo Farah. Well, I'm happy to see the Mo at the finish, Steve, than I was on the start line, but they really did hand this to Mo. Andy Vernon ran a great race today. That was a really good performance. Silver and bronze at the European Championships for Andy Vernon is a huge success. Well done, Andy. That's great. He's done well over the years on the country, on the roads, and now he's translated into the track. But he met the maestro today. Mo mesmerized them from the start. They were frightened to go past him. He only conceded the lead once. And he wasn't happy conceding the lead. He wanted to stay in control when he, once he hit the front. But that was vintage Mo Farah. He's clearly not at his very, very best. 52 seconds for the last lap.